We have. Cut. I'm sorry if I no. greased you up Something there, buddy. Weird. <laughs> Why Trust me. Yeah. Can I, uh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. goodness. Hey, you want for that? that? There yeah, you go. Indeed. Why? I'll just polish you up there. <sighs> while you're uh, while you're dealing with my head, can I get something off my chest? Uh, oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, yes. <clears throat> You know when you, you meet somebody who does something really stupid or nerdy or pathetic? Does or this involve me for any reason? Yes, it, yes, it does. <laughs> and they act like a jerk and you think, how could somebody be such a jerk? Yeah. Well, you are looking at the jerk because just before the show started, I was on the phone calling home and Conan, very nicely, politely, because not all hosts do this, came into the dressing room to say hello and I took the telephone away, thrust it into my, his hand and said, here, talk to my wife. I can't believe that I did that, was, and I, do, was, I apologize. She was very charming, and we're hooking up later on. I'm <laughs> sure that I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to the. You are a brute. <laughs> you know, take her to the Red Lobster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big spender, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, cash is tight at twelve thirty. Uh, you just oh, put that in your pocket. That's mine. Give me that back. No, 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 no. I can. You know how much I can auction this for? Oh, that's a sad... From your hand to my hand. <laughs> yeah, right, on eBay, car. that'll really go. Yeah. It was touched by Conan O'Brien! Yeah. Um, I must have it! Um, first of all, I like the beard. The beard is uh, very... You. And it's good, it's in the spirit of the holidays, too. Don't finish the sentence. The beard is very... Uh... It's very manly. Oh, thank you. Why? What did you... <laughs> what did you think I was well, going to say? Yeah, and whatever helps, I say. Um, you could I, play, uh, you could play uh, Santa Claus. Thank you very much. Why don't you adjust that and say you could play Henry II in Lion in Winter? Okay, you could play Henry II in Lion in Winter. <laughs> that is so extraordinary because that's the next thing I'm going to do. Incredible. Yeah, amazing. You must be a... It's a little thing I do. And we'll talk about that in 10 minutes. But first, <laughs> you had the premiere of, of this movie. Nemesis. Nemesis. And uh, you get to meet a real guy who's gone into outer oh. space. It was in the newspapers. Buzz Aldrin, astronaut, was there, and you got to meet him. Had you? What's it like for you, who's played for so many years, someone who who lives in space, to meet someone who's actually been there? Were it not that he's a very, very nice man, I, I, I would feel nothing but silly. You know, there we are saying, "Hey, <clears throat> make it so. Right. Engage number one. Let's take." us into orbit. Right. And here's a guy who's just done it. Right. And he probably thinks it's ridiculous when he's watching TV and, and uh, you guys zip around. No, and I, think, uh, I think he's a fan of the show. He came, came on the set several times, visited us at Paramount, and he came to our opening, you know, so it can't be all that bad. Do you uh, try and swap space knowledge with him and say things like, oh, that, you know, Cirrus 4, yeah, the monsters yeah. there are pretty creepy, eh? You know? <laughs> Usually it comes down to things like when Buzz says something, I say, yeah, Buzz, but that was in your day. No. <laughs> oh, that must go over really well. Yeah, and then does. he hits you. <laughs> yeah. oh, Did he give uh, you an autograph or anything? I do have something of his. I've had it for several years, and it's uh, a treasured piece of memorabilia. Uh, I met him in Washington for the first time, <laughs> and uh, we were talking about technology and how, in some respects, Star Trek has influenced uh, uh, the scientific experiment right. and research. And... Uh, he had said this thing about warp speed. And I'd say, oh, come on, come on, you know, surely anything is possible. So he signed, we, we were at the White House. Right. I just mentioned Name that dropper. On, on passing. Ho, ho, look that's, who's, That look same night, talking. I was hanging out with uh, Emilio Estevez. <laughs> Top that, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You have such a glamorous life. Yes, it's true. I get my lotion whenever I need it for my hands, yeah. And you had the vice president on last night. Uh, high glamour. Yes, indeed. Uh, Where were we? So, um, and so he, anyway, he, the White House napkin, and he says, uh, Dear Patrick, love the show, but warp speed never in anybody's lifetime. Signed, Buzz Aldrin at the bottom. What a killjoy. He doesn't think it's possible. <laughs> but you know what? What uh, about uh, really beautiful uh, aliens in miniskirts? Does he think that's possible? Yeah. <laughs> I saw him with a couple, in fact, at the premiere last <laughs> right, night. I yeah. guess those were people he hooked up with several years ago. Um, now let's talk about, this, is the, this could be the last Star Trek movie that you do. You know something I don't know? You don't know? I don't know. None of us knew until we saw this poster that has this slogan on it, a generation's final journey begins. 
Um, well, that's that like all- saying this is the last Rocky movie. They yeah. always say that, Rocky's yeah. final challenge, and then 10 Rocky movies later, yeah. he's got his you know, trunks pulled up to here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so you could... They, they, they say, what you have to focus on in this sentence of generations final journey begins is not the word final, right. but the word begins, because we could be beginning for years and years and years and years. Right. Is it, was it at all emotional, though, when you finished rapping, that, okay, maybe this is the end? Not when we rap, no. There was a, there was a, a touching moment, uh, at least touching for me. Where there's a scene in it when my first officer commander, Riker, oh, I, th- how much can I tell you? Anyway, it's a farewell moment. And we were rehearsing this at 7 o'clock one morning, all the doors open on the stage, people standing around with cups of coffee and just going through the moves, mumbling the lines off the sides. And we got to the moment where uh, Jonathan Frake said to me, serving with you has been an honor. And... Uh, I, I burst into tears and uh, fell into his arms, and those are substantial arms to fall into. Um, if you're so going to you, fall you, into any arms, so you fall both into... started weeping and yeah, holding each yeah. other. And we were joined by. <laughs> you know, I, this is a whole I, new I, kind of Star Trek movie. I, Captain, I we, I love you. Well, you know, I love you too. Where no man has gone before. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I salute you. (laughs) Nicely done. I have to bring this up. I read this, and I don't know if it's true, that, you know, the the captains, the famous captain chair that that, that all Star Trek captains get to sit in, that several of those have been stolen. Three of them have been stolen from the Star Trek set. Yeah, dramatically, the one that we were using on the the latest film. Uh, And this is not a cheap batter, you know. This is many, many thousands of dollars, dollars because unlike this chair, I just... (laughs) I you, just, ins- you insult me and I, Crate and Barrel, <laughs> sir. I just mentioned this en passant. Yeah. This chair, which is not uh, hand-built for me, the captain's chair on the Enterprise is. It's a customized chair, so that, you know, the, the knees to the floor and the length of the arms and all that kind of thing. It's Went. molded to your ass, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We go right back to where we were just a few moments ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh... I will nevertheless continue with this anecdote. Yes, All right. continue. Uh, I will, I Onward, will Captain. Ring its neck. <laughs> um, so it had gone, disappeared, and uh, we couldn't shoot the stuff that we had to shoot. Then there was a knock on my trailer door only a few hours later, and there was Mr. Scott Bakula, the star of the new Star Trek series, mm-hmm. Enterprise, whom I didn't know, hadn't met before, and he said, Patrick, we've heard of your loss. And so we've all of us got together, and we feel that we need to make a gesture, something that will help to make you feel better, and we have replaced your chair. And then they wheel in this thing that had been knocked together out of apple boxes and painted you know, red and green and blue. And on the back it said, and this was the spelling, Captain spelled K-A-P-T-I-N. <laughs> right. It's um, the new low-tech Star Trek. Yeah, but uh, it was a nice, charming thing to do for, from a colleague. I'm wondering, like, you know, uh, these, these guys that are stealing these chairs, you can just imagine them taking them home and, like, sitting there watching TV, like, <laughs> Helmsman, order Domino's pizza immediately. <laughs> Changing channels at warp speed. I mean... <laughs> do, do we have time for another chair story? Sure. You know, in X-Men, yeah. uh, X-Men 2, we've just finished, the character I play, um, in Professor... A wheelchair. Uh, in a wheelchair, yeah. When X-Men 1 was over... Um, they auctioned the wheelchair, and it was bought, in fact, by one of the attorneys at, uh, in, my, uh, in my, attorney, my, my personal attorney's office. And he sits behind his desk in this wheelchair. He paid a lot of money for this wheelchair. Now, along comes X-Men 2, and the studio says, so, you know, we can use the chair again. Oops, no, we can't, it's been sold. This attorney rented it back to the studio. <laughs> rented it back? <laughs> Oh, oh, listen, never sell anything to an attorney. <laughs> yeah. Uh, r- rented it back to the studio for a significant sum. I gotta hire this guy. He sounds yeah, ruthless yeah. and good. I know, he's working for me now. <laughs> All right, well, Star Trek Nemesis will be in theaters uh, starting tomorrow. Tomorrow night, to, well, tomorrow noon, yes, yeah. I guess. And thank you so much for being here. I've enjoyed it. It's good yeah. to talk to you. Yeah, good to be here. Patrick Stewart, everybody. John Leguizamo coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. 